I am traveling and I wanted to share what makeup I'm going to be bringing because um, I hope it can give you some ideas of how to think about what makeup you bring to travel with. And I'll just be going through and sharing what's in my makeup bag. And basically when I think about my makeup for traveling, I just try to be as simple as possible. Some people may think that I bring way too much. Some people may think that I don't bring enough. But I try to take like the number of choices out of the equation because it's just easier to travel with less makeup. So the easier you can simplify your routine, the better. I have this Alicia Silverstone for Eco Tools bag. And this is a lot she did with Eco Tools about a year ago, I believe. Um, and it has a section for brushes, which is really nice. And it comes with these little flaps which basically keep your brush in place. And then in here is usually where I put my makeup. And all this does fit. It's kind of packed, but it fits. And it's not all in there right now, but I swear, before I started this video, I had it in there. So this is MAC Studio Sculpt. And I apply this to my problem areas of blemishes or redness or anywhere that needs extra TLC. And I apply it with the MAC 217. And this is often known as the eyeshadow brush, but it can be used as um, for a face or really whatever you want to use it for. The Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage and I apply this using this little Eco Tools brush and this is technically a smudge brush but I use it because it's very precise and it gives you a lot of control over exactly where the concealer goes because once I use the MAC Studio Sculpt it's pretty much good to go except a few areas. I use Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Fair that C10 and I apply this using my ELF powder brush and this is a flat top brush. I usually only travel with one blush so this is Milani's Mai Tai um, and I use this with the Eco Tools blush brush and moving on to eye stuff is I use my travel sized primer potion from Urban Decay in this you really don't need very much of it, so you really don't need to travel with the full size if you do have a travel size. And it kind of cuts down on the space that you have in your bag. You can put something else in there, maybe extra lipstick for the space that you're not taking up with a full size. And this is probably the most frivolous thing I have in my travel bag that I definitely do not need but love to take. This is the Naked Palette. And I just like traveling with this a lot. It's really versatile. You could do night look, day look, one shadow, five shadows, anything you really want. Eyeliner. Um, and I do have the Naked 2 palette, but it's so new that I'm almost scared to travel with it. So I'm sticking to traveling with the Naked 1 palette because it's a little bit more broken in and I'm not as afraid to take it. So to apply eyeliner, I basically use this eyeliner brush and this is just a really basic, um, just kind of an angled eyeshadow brush. It's a no-name one and I use the, you know, any sort of the dark colors in the Naked palette will do great as eyeliners. I have the Sonia Kashuk Medium Eyeshadow Brush and this is just a flat brush that's great for packing on shadow and just really basic. When it comes to eyeshadow, I really only bring like three brushes whereas at home I have like a lot more. Um, and then to blend any colors out, I have the Eco Tools Blending Brush. And of course I always travel with an eyebrow brush because I believe that eyebrows really frame your face and if your eyebrows look good, your face is probably going to look even better. Um, and this is great because it's pretty versatile and comes with a lash comb um, that I use on my eyelashes after I apply the mascara to make sure they don't get too clumpy. And the mascara that I'm going to be traveling with is Benefit's Bad Girl Lash. And I got this for Christmas from one of my friends and... Um, it's basically great because like the primer potion, it doesn't take up much space. You're really only going to use it three times. It's one of the fin finishing touches you don't really need a lot of. So I like traveling with one gloss that's basically like nothing, like just there. Don't really want to wear anything, but still want to have like a little bit of a touch of something. This is Burt's Bee Super Glossy Natural Lip Shine in Nectar Nude. And this is like I said, basically nothing. It's a sheer gloss. Um, it smells good. It smells like oranges. I think it's supposed to. And then I have my 
MAC Viva Glam 5, and this is just my go-to lipstick no matter what mood I'm in, no matter what I'm feeling. Um, I just always love this lipstick because I think it just complements my skin tone very nicely. So that's the one I use um, when I don't really know what to use. I'm just like throw it on in the morning and go. And then obviously anytime you have like a gloss and a lipstick, you can pair them together to create like a more textured kind of look. The more you can like pare down and really think about what you're bringing, the better off you are because you don't want to be traveling with a huge bag of just makeup and all the other stuff you have to bring. Just really think about what you actually need and then pack it. So I hope this helps you figure out what you want to travel with next time you go on a trip and you should take some makeup with you. And I will talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.